University Hospitals of Birmingham NHS Foundation Trust has transformed the safety of drug prescribing with an innovative prescribing information and communication, or PICS, system delivered on Motion C5 Mobile Clinical Assistance, or MCAs. With the MCAs, clinicians can now administer drugs at the patient's bedside, which has improved accuracy and helped to significantly reduce the number of medication errors. Well, the key strategic objective is about patient safety. It's about reducing errors by allowing the computer system to guide staff at the point of delivery of care and also allowing us to analyse in great detail um, any potential errors that, that, that have been avoided and carry on improving the system to, uh, to you know, continue to minimise the errors. The MCA with our locally developed electronic prescribing system means that we can obviously take the mobile device to the bedside, we can document a drug history with it, we can change prescriptions um, and we have that flexibility to sort of move around the hospital um, and obviously also access uh, clinical records in more than one place at more than one time. The challenges before having PICS and the MCA was the fact that we would have paper copies. Now paper copies could go missing, they could be going to a different place, going to pharmacy at a time when you're needing to use them um, because you're needing drugs to be brought up. They could get very messy, there could be spillage from drawing up drugs, there could be all sorts of things that then, unfortunately, the medics need to rewrite completely. We were looking at the MCA, the C5, um, in comparison to other similar devices that we've used over the last 10 years or so. In all respects, really, it was a far better device. It's a ruggedized system, it's got a handle, and therefore it doesn't get dropped nearly as often as the earlier devices, so breakages and that are much less of an issue. It's got a lot of extra hardware associated with it, like scanners and cameras and things like that, which we could see potential for in the future. So the benefits of e-prescribing, there are, first of all, some really quite simple and straightforward benefits, uh, primarily around legibility and around prevention of duplication of drug charts, which used to go on. Additional to that, it's possible to add on clinical decision support, so you stop things happening that you don't want to happen. So people who are allergic to specific drugs being uh, prescribed a specific drug, for example, or drugs that have particular interactions, then the system can actually stop you doing that. Between 400 and 450 potential errors are prevented every day in the organisation by delivering this advanced decision support at the point of patient care. What we've also discovered is that by making sure that the patients get the right drugs when they're indicated and only when they're indicated, you can actually improve the financial efficiency of the service as well. And we've seen quite a few cost savings uh, in a number of services, notably in the intensive care unit where we saved about 10% of the drug budget. The MCA has improved a lot in the way of the time-saving situation. We used to have to phone the laboratories a lot, but it takes a lot of nursing time. The laboratories will actually put the results very quickly onto the system, so we don't need that. We don't need the nurses to do that and the nursing time to be taken up, and we also haven't got the laboratory people actually taking their time to keep answering phones as well and taking them away from doing those. The benefits of the MCA are its size, its portability. I can put one on the end of the notes trolley as I'm doing a, a ward round, and that enables us to access the blood results and the prescription charts. Its carry handle means that people are often carrying the device to um, patients' bedsides, for example, to document medication histories. And generally the use of it, the touch screen or touch pen technology, means that we're able to select from our system very easily. It was very straightforward to integrate the C5 with PIX because PIX is a standard Windows application, the device is a standard Windows PC, so putting the two together involved no effort at all really. The MCAs are actually very good because they're easy to clean, easy to wipe down, good for just putting in and recharging the battery. So in a hospital in environment, and for us for clarity, they're very good indeed. Benefits to the IT department of using the MCA, I think we see mainly as reliability and frequency of fault calls, that uh, because the thing's more ruggedized and has a handle, it doesn't get dropped as often, doesn't get damaged as often if it gets dropped. So we are seeing a reduction in the number of calls that we get to the help desk. I think it would be very hard to do without the MCA now. I think it has found a place, however uh, many staff have been concerned about using computers, I think they realise that it's actually very simple, it's got a very good interface, it's got an easy access to, for all of the different 
areas that you can actually utilise it for? Well, there's two, two projects which we're developing at the moment. The first is in pilot in, in uh, the Burns unit here, which is about putting all the observations, blood pressure, temperature, vital signs onto the uh, computer system rather than on a paper chart, which means we can use this information to help improve the quality of the decisions. And the other project is around introducing barcode reading to identify patients before drugs are administered because about 40% of, of medication errors in hospitals are related to giving the drugs, not to prescribing the drugs.